Hi, this is Nick from Inside the Digital Media Final Cut Pro Tutorials. This is part two of achieving that film look. Hopefully you've uh, seen the first one uh, in this uh, two-parter, um, and this will probably make a bit more sense if you have. Anyway, on with the tutorial. So, we've done that, that's the simple version. We'll have a look at a, a bit more a bit more of a complex way of doing it now. This is um, some stuff I shot actually with a Flip Ultra HD. This is a very much more dramatic look. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you uh, another way of producing the film look using nesting and uh, a few other simple effects. So this is what we're setting out to achieve. Um, which is a sort of... Uh, is a more dramatic film look than we looked at in part one of this. So the first thing we need to do is edit our footage together, um, which you'll see I've done here. Um, there's that shot. Um, and there are no filters on this. We open that up. It's just clean footage. Um, what we'll then do is take that entire edit into a new sequence so we'll just drag that in, pop it down there. Um, so there you can see the finished edit. What we need to do now is to duplicate this track. So it's Alt Shift and drag up. And we'll start with the upper layer. We'll just start off by putting some blur on it. So Gaussian blur, open this up. Now just a little tip here, if you double click that you go back to your original edit which you don't want to do. So what you need to do is open in viewer which opens it up here. Um, so we'll set that to about four. Next thing we want to do with that upper track is to desaturate it. So it's image control desaturate. We'll take that down to about 70 somewhere there. So there's still a hint of colour in it. So the last thing we need to do with track 2 or the upper layer is to add a composite mode of overlay and there you can start to see uh, how dramatic that's going to look. If we turn that track off you can compare it with the original. So, there. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're moving on to the the master, which I think of as the master, which is the track one. Open that in the viewer. First thing we want to add is a tint, which is filters, image control, tint, and we'll put We'll add this orange, pale orange. And we'll knock that down to about 50. Okay, it's starting to get a bit dark. So what I'm going to do is, the simplest way is just to add a bit of brightness to that and to contrast as well. adjust these settings as you go. Um, now we'll put in some noise under stylize and quickly get rid of that by choosing the Gaussian noise. You might want to go for the monochrome as well which gets rid of the color elements you can see there. and put that as a multiply. And then we just knock it back until we're happy with it. Somewhere there, I would say. Okay, we'll just add our vignette. Stylize, 
vignette. And as I said in the previous tutorial, you just uh, be a bit careful when you're putting on a vignette so that you don't get uh, banding around here, which you can see. If I make it darker, you can definitely see it. Um, you can use the fall off tool to adjust the graduation. It softens it basically and um, perhaps lose some of the darkness. Add a bit more blur, which blurs the corners really, blurs the edges of the vignette. Okay, that's pretty much it. I hope you found that useful and uh, my advice would be just to play around with those tools until you get the effect that you're looking for. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with me via the website on my YouTube channel or through Twitter. Okay, thanks again. Bye.